Good evening. As a courtesy to your fellow media members, as well as the coaches and student athletes, please silence your cell phones. Very important, please provide your name and media affiliation each time that you ask a question during the press conference. Please direct your question to a specific player or to coach. If you're joining us on Zoom, please use the raise hand function for questions. Recording press conferences on cell phones and cameras is prohibited. This will be a 12 minute press conference Joining us are the student athletes from Duke University, Derek Whitehead, Jeremy Roach, Derek Lively II, as well as head coach John Shire. At this time, we'll turn it over to Coach Shire for his comments on the game and follow up with questions for all. Coach? Thank you. Well, one, I thought it was a great win for us. Uh, Oral Roberts, they haven't lost in a long time, man. They, they're uh, going in. I mean, these guys probably got sick of us watching so much film. They, they're uh, so explosive. And I thought our defense really set the tone for us today. Uh, the job we did, you know, we're, we're able to switch a lot. You know, we have a very versatile defensive group. You know, this guy next to me having six blocks, which I think is a freshman record ever in the tournament, right, at Duke. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and besides the six blocks, he, he alters so much. And we're able to guard multiple positions. And not to let up, to hold that team to 51 points is, is a big deal. And I thought we had some key responses when they made their run, which you knew they were going to make at some time. So really proud of the effort, proud of these guys right here. They did a great job uh, for, you know, five of them. It's their first NCAA tournament, t tournament game. And uh, you really couldn't tell. And I think that's a credit to them and their competitiveness and their ability to rise to the occasion. Front row right here. Coach Evan Abramson, Spectrum News One. It really feels like Jeremy played what could have been a perfect game. I mean, is this the most dominant? Oh, well, don't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> no, is this not. the most dominant you've seen him play? Jeremy's, uh, he's been on a tear, right? He's just done, you know, for me, it's more just his, his mindset. You know, I just, I think the scoring, the playmaking comes with it. He's uh, never rattled. You know, he's playing both sides of the ball. You know, he's, he played 36 minutes and, Defensively, he did a great job. You know, McBride could really score for them. He did a great job chasing him and Abe's Abe's around. Uh, so that's what I expected from him, and it's what I think he wants me to expect from him. But uh, really proud of what he's done and just leading the way for us. Back row. Cody Taylor, USA Today. Derek, he, he mentioned your, your six blocks. Just how much pride do you take in that end and controlling the paint, blocking, altering shots? Uh, this, this season, I've just uh, accepted it as my role, you know, being able to protect the house, being able to just back up my teammates is something I've just accepted and something I just try to excel at. You know, being able to just have them know they could trust me to have their backs any moment is something I've just, you know, accepted throughout this point. Front row right here. Tariq. 13 points off the bench. Does this feel like the performance that you needed to have in front of everyone? And how good does it feel to really have a big performance like that on such a national stage? Oh, it felt great. You know, coming to the game, a lot of the guys before told me to be confident, just like, you know, Jeremy, who's our captain, you know, he told me to come in and be conf you know, just be confident. So that's what I did, you know. But I wouldn't say it's, didn't, you know, the one I needed. We got, you know, a lot more games to go. We got one Saturday. So I just want to make sure we get ready for that one and prepare for that one. Front row, Kip. Yeah, Kip Coons, uh, Press Box View. Jeremy, second half, you looked like you were not afraid to challenge their seven foot five center uh, on reverse layups or even one little floater over the top of him. What did you see there that you thought you could exploit that? Uh, I mean, early, like kind of late in the second half, I felt like I was kind of settling a little bit. Um, kind of wanted to play inside out, go to our strength. Um, but I just feel like I, I could attack him, get, get to my spot, um, raise. Um, I felt like I was just a little bit quicker than him and could get my shot up. But, I mean, he's a, he's a great player. He's a great rim, great rim protector. Um, they play that drop. Um, he's big, big seven-foot guy, big seven-five guy in the paint. So I um, just want to kind of get to my spot where I know I can probably make something happen. Road two. John, you talked about how Derek's length has totally changed what you guys are capable of doing. How much you see it play out like that? How much do you think that elevates the upside of this team? Well, it's, I mean, to be honest with you, it's totally changed our team. You know, uh, 
Derek and Derek had some unfortunate injuries early in the year and just set back the development time, the experience time. And, you know, really the second half of the season, Derek's been on absolute terror. I mean, his, his rebounding, his blocking shots, he's been scoring in double digits too, and he's the ultimate team player. You know, he's a guy that doesn't need the ball in his hands. He's a really good passer. NBA people see the way he passes on short rolls and the reads he makes. They're, they're advanced reads. And so he's completely changed our team. Uh, I don't even think the six blocks he gets enough credit because there's a few more where they're either looking or they end up passing out just because of his presence around the basket. And then not to mention the job he does in pick and roll. Like he's defending up there with Abe Smith the whole game, showing him pick and roll, and then getting back protecting our basket. It's, it's uh, I don't know if there's anybody else in the country that can do it like that. Back to the front row. Coach, you mentioned the defense having a big part in this game. Is there something different you did to prepare this team in such a short time period? And I mean, does it speak to the work ethic of this team to see how uh, of a master job they did? You know, I think it's just their mindset. You know, one, they have the ability. Uh, like I mentioned, the versatility. All three of these guys can guard multiple spots up here. So can many others on our team. Uh, but it's the preseason doing four-man show it's the you know coach Lucas being on these guys all the time and it's developing habits so now it's a matter of are right, you win the ACC, ACC tournament which is incredible to win a championship but then you have to move on very quickly it doesn't entitle you to winning this game and so that to me is what I'm most proud of where they said all right that was great but that's not all that we want to do and to come here with this performance uh, was great. You all, I also just want to mention with Derek. you mentioned him. derek has been doing this. <laughs> you know, he has. He's been doing this. This isn't like a one-time thing. Right. And he's so unselfish. Like, he had it going early. He, ended up, he should have gotten more shots in the second half. And for him, he's all about winning. He's all about winning. Jeremy's all about winning. And that's what, you know, for these guys with the aspirations that they have, that's what makes this so special for me. And so, you know, that's why I'm proud. Let's take a question from one of our Zoom attendees, Matt Treconelli. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, yes, Coach. Um, congrats on the win and everything. And uh, I have two questions. First question is, you guys have played a tr tremendous defensive game with the Virginia game, the ACC championship game, only giving up 49 points and 51 points tonight to an explosive Oral Roberts team who scores 80-plus points on average every game. So how was your team able to just lately just really have a tremendous defensive effort? First question. And then the second question is, I mean, moving forward, what, what would your team have to do in order to continue this uh, success? Well, playing defense would be great moving forward. Uh, I know that's number two. But as far as number one, I credit the preparation, uh, the focus that these guys have had and the will to want to stop somebody. I think there's a competitiveness there that you either have or you don't, and these guys have it. And as far as number two goes, uh, you know, we'll see who we play, but I want us to be who we are. You know, continue to keep our identity, uh, defend, share it, rebound, and uh, that's, that's what's most important to me. We have to continue to be who we are. Row two. Jeremy, when it was, uh uh, when it was, you hit a three to make it 11 to nothing, and it, it looks like you turned to the bench and said something. Uh, do you remember kind of what was going through your head? Uh, I mean, just just excited, <clears throat> just like the the start that we got off to, 11-0 um, start. I mean, that's that's a, a huge thing that we talk about. Uh, starting the game off right, uh, that first four minutes is is very important. Um, but I mean, I'm just, I was just happy, just happy that uh, we was we, we had the lead and we was getting multiple stops. Row one, please. Name and affiliation. Uh, Alan Slaughter, Zinsky Brevard Sports Network. This is for any of the players. It was kind of weird this week with the sentiment. It was, look out for Duke. You know, maybe Duke can come up and sneak up on you. This is a blue blood program, a five seed coming in. I'm curious, did, did you guys hear any of that noise? Did it put a chip on your shoulder at all a little bit? Do you hear it? Do you pay attention to it? I got you. Uh, I, mean, we, I mean, obviously, if you watch ESPN, you're going to see it. But, I mean, we try to flush that out. Um, 
like like he said with the ACC tournament and kind of just focus on one game. It's a new season now. Um, we wanted to lock in on Oral Roberts, and then we did a good job of making it as tough as we could for him. Uh, but now we just got to lock in on Saturday and take it one game at a time. Back row, please. John, I don't think Coach K won his NCAA tournament debut. So is there anything you can kind of you know, <laughs> one-up the down that, No, let's not go down that road. There, there's, <laughs> he's done He's done everything you could do. I'm not, I'm not going down that road. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Additional questions for Duke? All right, thank you, gentlemen. All right, thank you. <laughs>